Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and that. And your boy, Stanley. Hope you all had a great weekend. We had an excellent weekend. Yes, indeed. We're getting power out a little earlier, but y'all still gonna get it at the same time, but it is what it is. Indeed. I was not ready. I for, wasn't ready. For this. Oh my. Yeah. God. I think this probably was one of the best episodes right here. So, listen. Y'all know how we do it on this channel. Everything is easy breezy, um, beautiful cover girl over here because we don't do the drama. We don't do all of that craziness because at the end of the day, we got nine to fives. We got yeah. businesses. We don't live this. This ain't all we do. Yeah. Yes, sometimes we're going to... Small part. Yeah, sometimes we're going to mess some things up. Yeah, we are. Sometimes we're not going to catch everything. Sometimes we're just going to omit some things. Mm -hmm. It just is what it is. But I'm going to tell you who to go to if you want a real thorough step by step gonna give it to you break down everything might be yeah his info is down in the bottom bar if you want somebody that's gonna do it give it how you need it that's gonna be your guy yeah um other than that we come over here just to have skits and giggles because yeah we're assuming that you all have watched this and if you ain't got cable get your coins up that's all i say so get into power yeah a new man a new goddamn man I think at this episode, I might need to be a new man. <laughs> if you anything like anything we just saw, yes. Uh, so we kind of start off, we see uh, Ghost pretty much nailing got on the marshal with the got on weight again. And I was like, are we going back to this again? What's going on? He killing somebody else? But he having nightmares. Which lets me know that even though Ghost is a killer, he still got a heart because people that don't give a fuck, they don't have no nightmares, they don't care if they kill this person, so they walk away and they all good. But we see that Ghost has some kind of heart because he's having a nightmare. So he don't got up, right? Yeah. And listen, y'all know it's not going to be power if they don't take an opportunity to show us the feathers on his back yeah. or his hind pots. Yeah. I said, okay, Ghost just got out of the pen. And already we seeing the feathers on his back, his hind parts, and he got a nice old good old haircut. I said, all right, goes. But then he looks over at the bed as if his oh, like, wife is supposed to be laying there like, like everything is all right. Yeah. And I said, oh, oh, okay, goes. You giving me a little Ralph Angel tease right now, but I'm going to let you have it this time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I had to say about that word. Okay. Yeah, so he go in the kitchen, you know. Bright and early, he looking for breakfast to be cooked because, you know, he wanted to be like old times. He was like, you know, Tasha, you know what? I've been doing some thinking. You know, I've, you know, I've been in jail for a few weeks, so <laughs> I had some time to think about it. You know, I read the Quran, I read the Bible, read a few good self-help books. Joe Osteen helped me out. Every day is Friday. Now, I think we ought to get on back together. <laughs> Go to church. <laughs> yeah. Get out with, like, you know, right with the Lord or something. You know, we ought to get, out, get back together, you know, like old times. You know, forget about everything else that happened. All that's in the past. All is forgiven. All things are new. Let's go and get this thing going. She was like, uh -uh. did you forget about all this bullshit you done took us through? And matter of fact, Terry said it's that this case over. is not over. So we just on together for appearances. We just looking good for the cameras, looking good for the public to make everything look all right. So you can get off this bullshit. So and then she said, well, she said, and furthermore, I know it's not over. Because basically what she was saying, from a female's perspective, Han. that chick went in that courtroom and blew her own spot up Whole to life save up. your way. Yep. Do you really think this is over? He said, you know what, Tasha? I wish she hadn't even stepped foot in that club that night. Yeah. I was like, uh -uh, uh -uh, don't put this all on Angela. Uh-uh. Because if it wasn't Angela, it probably would have been somebody, somebody else, else, somebody else, somebody else. That yep. was on you to check your own self. Exactly. Can't nobody tempt the, the ones that don't want to be tempted at. Yep. <laughs> exactly. So, we see the feds taking the chains off of Truth, you know, because Ghost is out free. And then we see your boy Kane is there stalking. He's looking for an opportunity to get Ghost because, you know, him and Jukebox trying to get that money because they got Tariq Hell hostage. So, we need to get this money. So, he was ready to roll up in the Truth right behind uh, Ghost. But he see uh -huh. freaking Simon Stern and always come out of nowhere. Yeah, and we did forget who that was. For yeah, a we did. Yeah, we, we did. We God darn it. Yeah, we forgot. Listen, we know. We know who he is let now. Me, <laughs> let me go on a rant real quick. Y'all quick to tell us everything we did wrong in the comments, but this is a free channel. We don't charge y'all yeah. nothing. Some people be charging y'all just to watch their God darn stuff, and they spam y'all every fifteen or ten minutes with ads uh -huh. just so they can make money off. We don't do none of that. We got one in the beginning, and if they put one on the end, that's Google. We don't even do that. Yeah. Um. 
please please let us know we doing something right just be like y'all y'all do a good job do something because god don't we do this for the fun of it indeed rant's over i'm off the sofa we back <laughs> so kana was like oh can't do it today i need a free clear shot so Freaking on, Ghost walks on up in the club, he turn his lights on, like everything still <laughs> the still on. Yeah, everything looked good, you know. They kept my skit together. They had come Simon Stern. Said, mm, how you out? You look like a, a new, new man. man. I said, oop. And he was like, not you, you look the same. He said, yeah, this is me, I, I do this every day. He basically said, I'm dead on the inside. Yeah, so I'm this how I look. <laughs> so, of course, you know your boy Stern ain't there for skits and giggles. Mm -hmm. He there for a plan. He got, he want to try to abstract something. Cause Ghost was like, I'm gonna need you to leave. He was like, this ain't a good way to treat, a you know, partner? a partner. Um, no, he said, this not a good way to treat your creditor. Yeah. I was like, creditor. creditor. I was like, he don't owe you nothing. He was like, what? And he was like, well, I did a deal with Tasha. I said, she like, moves oh, fast, don't she? Yeah, she moved. She made a phone call and I said, darn. He had liquid funds like that? Yeah, I was like, dang. So he was like, I got a business proposal for you. And if you take my offer, I'll wipe your debt, debt clean. You'll be debt free. In, in two seconds, you'll be debt free if you take this deal. This is what I want. We're going to get into real estate. I said, <laughs> I said to myself, I said, that won't be a half bad plan because maybe the next time you go to jail, you'll own something. Yeah. Because you know, ghosts don't own skit. I said, you know what? Hood rich. Yeah. You look like good money. You look like new money, but you ain't got none of that old money. I said, you know what? I cannot. But he said, basically, he said, listen, I'm going to be a solid partner. Yeah. He said, I put, the, I put my, my um, funds up, but I need you to be the face in the race. Yeah. He said, so what does that, I mean, why? He said, you know black folk, y'all get a little break. Yeah. And y'all get loans that we can't get. Yeah. Come on here. That's how we going to do it. And he said, I'm going to break it to the urban um, community, the urban development market. I said. So he said, in other words, you want to make some money off my black ass. Yes, he did. <laughs> I get ready to say don't to everybody. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what he want to do. But of course, at this point, Ghost kind of don't have a choice because Tasha made that deal behind his back. So, while uh, I don't know this is important, but pretty much Tony called Ghost from prison and be like, Hey, mm. hey, you done been out for 20 minutes. That's long enough for you <laughs> to put that goddamn phone in Tommy Egan's hand. And Ghost was like, I I'm on it, man. I I'm I on ain't it. Got I, got, I ain't forgot about you. Because you know, Ghost did try to call Tommy. Yeah, but, but Tommy's you know, in, in Chicago. Chicago. So he was like, I got this, dog. Oh, man, I got this. <laughs> Hold your horses. You know, I would say take you Viagra, but you in prison. Just, just. Well, he don't need Viagra in there. Yeah. <laughs> no. <he> <laughs> but I got this. I got this. So then we see, we're going to jump ahead. We see Ghost go back home pissed off, confronting Tasha. Yeah. And be like, oh. Why did you uh, do a deal with the devil? She was like, I ain't had no choice. Hmm. You got locked up. The feds froze up all of our money. So what you want me to do? I had to take care of the kids. And he was like, well, I thought that the Milan money was enough to, to fund all this since we didn't have to pay no bail. And, and I, I was like, confused like all huh. This. But she didn't address it. She didn't she, address it. She moved right on past it like it ain't matter. So. I was like, okay. I said, so your funds are frozen like Tostino's pizza, but well, did you deposit that check from that security thing in y'all accounts and it got frozen too? Because the way that Ghost is talking about it, that won't a part of it. So you should have had some liquid assets from that. Where the money at? Yeah. And I'm like, and like you said, she she breezed over it. Somebody, but you know what? It might have been frozen because they bought the money up in court. They brought it, yeah. Yeah, so it might have been frozen. But she didn't say that it got frozen. Yeah. So I, I don't. We'll just I, go with it. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll just um, roll with that one. And um, she was like, he was like, you know you're doing a deal with the devil. Why you talk to me first? She was like, that's coming from somebody <laughs> that do what the fuck he want to do without consulting nobody. But she said, he said, well, this is what he want. He want to do the real estate business. He want me to be the face. He be the silent partner. And she was like, well, Ghost, you the man. Mm -hmm. He said, you know how to take lemon and make lemonade yeah. every single day. So you, you can outsmart him. You yeah, did it you once, out, you can do it before. You can, you can do it again. Look, if you did it before, you can do it you, again. You can do it again. Same ghost right now. <laughs> same ghost right then. Yep. So he was like, Tasha, I can't trust you. She was like, I can't she trust your black egg either. So <laughs> that means we in this together. It is what it is. I said, well, all right. Ooh. 
So then we see Keisha and Tasha at the restaurant. Keisha pissed bad. off because she trying to get in touch with Tommy. He ain't answering no text. He ain't answering no phone. She said, my white meat don't disappear. I'm used to yeah. black dudes doing this, but not the white not ones. The, yeah, I thought I thought they was clean. I thought they just, you know, I called them. They picked the phone up. We all good. Like, mm -mm, not Tommy. He ain't white. He black. Yeah, he, he black just, on the inside. Yeah, he just white coated. That's what he is. <laughs> He got like them one of them Oreo cookies you get on Christmas, y'all. Y'all ever had them junks? Them Oreo cookies with the white icing on top of it? Them jacks are. I'm telling you, they'll change your life. I'm telling you, when they come out around Christmas, stock up. Because mm -hmm. they ain't going to ever be in the store. Yeah. I'm telling you, they ain't going to ever be in the store. So Keisha was like, you know what? The feds that took the chains off my weave shop. <laughs> and I can get back now and sell my bundles and, and my, my, my She said, I need to get in there and sell my bundles and my frontals and make these girls look brand new once again. Yeah, and on top of that, I went out. I went out this freaking game because I got kids to feed, I got money to make, <laughs> I ain't got time for this fed bull skit. Well, Tasha, of course, making all the excuses like, well, you know, we still got to run the money. Yeah, through we still got to run the money through there. But you do your, you got to do, girl, because you got to make sure you take care of these thirsty girls when they have. So Tasha still unfazed about it. And she was like, Bye. and Keisha looked at her like, mm hmm. Yeah. And I said, I didn't like that look because y'all know we already say that Keisha is the weak link. Mm -hmm. Keisha going to do something. I think she's going to do something. And she already pissed off at a friend. She pissed mm -hmm. off at Tommy because she can't mm -hmm. find him. Something about to go down. Yeah, because you remember she asked Tommy on the last episode what I need to do to not do what Holly did to mess up. Mm -hmm. And that is don't run your mouth or go off and try to kill people and that don't he ain't give you a ghosts. license to do. Yeah, and don't touch ghosts. Mm -mm. So we got Tommy in Chicago because last week we saw him leave to go to Chicago. So we didn't yeah. forget about that. We didn't think it was important because we, we knew we were going to talk about it this week. We talk about it this week because we know they're going to let us in what's going on. So he in Chicago. He on the elevator, of course, the, the bros take his gun away. He said, I hope when you go back down that you get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tommy is not going to let you leave without him saying the last word. So he meet up with this dude named Jason Mitchett. Is his name Mitchett? Is it Mitchett? M M Mitchett, whatever. Whatever. Mitch B. So, first thing Tommy said was, I know why you got me here. We have some few hiccups with the with the things because the feds can't he say all this, but in other words, we have some hiccups with the connect. You know, things stopped. My pharmaceutical business got messed up. But I'm but, good. But we good. We got a little gambling operation set up. Said last night yeah. I took an L, but tonight I'm bouncing back. back. So yeah, so we got all that set up. We got that thing set up. So he was like, that's good. But that ain't why I got you out here. He said, I got you out here because I'm thinking about expanding my organization. But I want you to run it. I want you to run both coasts. As a matter of fact, I want you to go out to L.A. to meet some folk. He said, I don't like dry heat, He though. said, I don't like dry heat, though. <laughs> but he said, well, only one condition, we can't do this with ghosts. We got to cut ghosts off the top. And Tom was like, you know what? I've been here before. I'd have been down this road before. I am not going to kill ghosts. So dude looked at him like, okay, that might not be what I was asking you to do, but what I'm trying to tell you to do is here. Being connected to ghosts is not good for my business or your, your business. business. And um, you need to cut all ties. All ties. With ghosts in order for us to be in connection with each other, be a business partnership and all that good stuff. And I said, Some see, no. Tommy act like he was good with the plan. But he gave him that look like, I'm going to shake on it, but yeah, right, mother bucker? Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> but you never know what Tommy is thinking. Yeah, he always, he always like two, three steps ahead of people when he started dealing with them. Yeah. So, uh, he was like, okay, we're good here, so I can go on back to New York. Because, you know, the whole time Tommy was there, he was like. He said, I ain't got nobody coming to shoot you, Tommy. He said, he said, I feel more safe when I get back to NYC. I don't blame you. I don't trust mm -hmm. nobody like that. You got me in this, this cut by myself, too. He said, did you have to move out in the middle of the night or something? Yeah. <laughs> I said, you know what? So he was like, no, you ain't going back home not tonight. Matter of fact, we're going to show you how to celebrate Chicago style. So, so like, okay. Okay, okay. We can do that. So we seen him at really. <laughs> we seen him at up at the, at the set, the club, whatever it was at. Tommy in there taking shots. He is lit. Tore up. Rule number one, don't get bucked up with people you don't know. Exactly. You got to stay on your game, you know. Just go a little ways in, you know, act like you tore up. 
But be really but, but, aware. But be real well what's going on. So Tommy was said, you know, telling him like I had a job. He was like, You had a job? He's like, not like a post office job, you know. <laughs> you know, I was a freaking bouncer in the strip club when I was little. Matter of fact, my mama made me do that. Said your mama. Said your mama made you. He, he said, said yeah. yeah. He said the, the boy scouts was full. Yeah, he said we had all the girls, all the drinks, and I got paid to fight. And that's when I found out by my hustle. hustle. I found out what I was good at, you know, and I got paid for it. <laughs> and I said, oh God. I said, all right. And then Tommy brought up Milan. He said, you know what? Milan was very, um, he was very good for business for your organization. Very valuable. He said, I'm really surprised yeah. that we were able to get the sign off to go ahead and And off him so easy. And dude kind of looked at him like. He was, oh. oh, he was he was on his way out. And I said, oh, that didn't. That, that didn't, ain't sound right. That sound right. That easy? He was on his way out? And Thomas said, you know what? I ain't never been comfortable with people that, you know, be eating out of people and stuff. I don't he know. Is it a Serbian thing? He said, because he, he said, I, he said, I don't hate it, but I, I just don't. I, I just frown don't, upon yeah, it. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> so dude said, you know, it kind of, he said, you know what? Let me give you one of them, uh, them girl shots yeah, from yeah, Jamaica. From Jamaica. I don't know what that shot was, but Thomas said, Woo! Oh, this is good. good. Hit me with another one. I said, Thomas, you don't do yeah, it. Yeah, you're going too far in. Then we see him stumbling in the parking lot, like, you know what, y'all? <laughs> I'm going to have to set this one out there. Bam! They hit him in the back of the neck and throw him in the back of the trunk. I said, he don't ended up in the trunk like Mr. Chow. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, not me in trunk. <laughs> God darn it. I said, okay. So then he taking this long ride. Yeah. And when Tommy comes too, he realizes, oh, I'm in the trunk. Let me try to get out. But as soon as he gets out the trunk, they start walking him a little ways and he realized that he's overlooking a uh, uh, freshly, freshly dug dead. grave. And Thomas said, oh, skit. Uh, this ain't yeah. what I came out here for. I thought we was good. We hit it all. We had some shots together. We was talking to the girls. And we was going to do it. We was yeah, going to expand. Yeah, we were going to expand. What, what's, what's, what's going on here? And then that dude Patar shows up. I said, here he go. He said, I, he said, what the hell you doing here? He said, I ought to rip your <laughs> freaking ho throat out through your a-hole. <laughs> he said, I've been digging graves like this when you was skitting y'all. I said, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, God, Tommy. So he was like, we got you out here because we're going to kill you because you killed Milan without Jason's approval. He said, he said, you what? lying MF. You were there. You was there. And you told me that he signed off on it. Then Jason was like, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What? Wait. Tatiana. Yeah. Um, he no, he said first he said, Well, Patar told me that he was killed by a gang. Now you telling me that the, he got killed by because, you by you because you cause I signed off on it. He said, Tatiana. Tatiana went I, over there. He came he came back with the gun and the, Tommy was like he need me, need money, more. Right. Thomas, and he started seeing a holly and everything. Yeah, he's like, uh, uh, he said, I'm alive. I'm alive. It's a miracle. <laughs> a miracle from above. Make it float like a dove. <laughs> Popcorn player. Shot for tall. He fell in the grave. They didn't even have to push him in, so they had to put the fingerprints on him. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, and then after that time, it started talking all kind of skit. That's what you get, MF, you know. Uh, then he was like, uh, Jason, I like the way y'all do business around here. But you ain't but walking he, behind but me. But you ain't never walking behind me no more. No Jason more. said, I respect that. Here's some keys and you can be on your way. So that day on time it gets in there. I think it was Malibu on it. I think so. It was either Malibu or Impala. He gets on the highway. I said, okay, he having a moment right here. Yeah. We see him come up on, what's it, the Cleveland exit? The Cleveland exit. 50 miles to Cleveland. And he started feeling on his necklace, and I said, oh, hell, yeah, highly yeah, coming uh -huh. back. Highly coming back in the scene in his mind, like Mike B would say, <laughs> in his mind. <laughs> and the next thing we know, we see he showed up at a house, at an open house. I was like, and I said, so is Tommy trying to get a trap house? Oh, here in this nice old suburban neighborhood? Because this yeah. ain't what you do. And I said, well, maybe he trying to do something different. Yeah. No. Dude don't call a realtor. The realtor's name was what, Sam? Sam. Sam came over there to show Tommy the house. Tommy going through, opening up cabinets, this, that, and the so third. Nice. Which I got a problem with after after it's all said and done. Tommy, why is you touching Skip when you was about to do something? Yeah. Well, 
He said, you know, they have a small talk. You know, are you a family guy? Where you yeah, from? You got kids. He said, no, that ain't never been in the cards <clears> for me. How about you? He said, you know, I have two daughters. I think that's what he said. Yeah. Tommy turned around and said, do you like to buck your daughters? No. He was like, I'm Come sorry. What, what question is yeah, that? What's that? He said, you know what? I need to call the police. He said, no. Mm -mm. He said, what about your daughter, Holly? Did you enjoy bucking her? <laughs> he said, tell me, Holly, such and such, my nine-year-old niece? He's like, he yeah. Like, he said, but but she was different. She, she liked wanted, it. She wanted She liked she it. She enjoyed it. You, he said, you motherfucker, she was nine years old. They say we know. Tommy had a bat. Wow. Swing wow. away. Wow. Wow. Killed him. On Killed sight. Him on fucked, sight. Him up, fucked him up on sight. And I said, Tommy, your fingerprints all over this bull skit. Mm -hmm. But you know Tommy. Don't no trade places with ghosts just went through. I know you like a hundred miles from New York, but that forensic evidence and all that DNA stuff they can do is right there. They can trace it right on back to you. So I said, oh Lord, this, this, this ain't going to end well. So then we see uh, Julio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he pissed off because last week, y'all, we didn't forget that he was when he saw Kanan and freaking Dre talking in, at Truth. Mm -hmm. So. Hagum Dre pulling up, he was like, hold up, let me go. Stay right here, tell another black dude, stay right here. Because he can go confront about this Kanan. And he was like, told Dre, he said, didn't Tommy tell us to stay away from Kanan? That if we see him, we need to fuck him up on sight. We need to put a bull in his head. And Dre was like, I couldn't do that in the middle of the truth in front of everybody. He said he wanted in. Yeah, I, he wanted in. I so. pushed back, I handled it. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah, so you can trust me. And he said, matter of fact, I actually know some people that have some problem with their connect. You know, we can step on in. We can get that business. Let's go and set up a meeting mm. with Crystal Ball. <laughs> and he was like, nah, I need to talk to Tommy first. And that's what Dre played him with. The with He the, tried to punk him, and he yeah. did punk him. He said, you the man. You the distro. You, 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 you know you take it to Tommy. He's going to be like, Tommy, like, you need me to wipe your A every time you need to make a decision? He He's, said, don't set me up. Yeah, he was like, basically, we have a problem. When you approach Tommy, have a solution. solution. Let's do it that way. I said, Julio, did you really just fall for that? Yep. So, Drake, Texas, um, Crystal Ball, they set up the meeting. So, pretty much in the meeting, uh, Dre was telling them, hey, yeah. we can we can pretty much take out Julio. But the Locos, was it, Locos? Toros Locos. Toros Locos dude was like, well... We had a deal with Ghost, cause Ghost pretty much when he got out of our organization, he bought Ghost, him out. Bought, Ghost bought him out. Uh, so we can't. So touch we him. can't touch him. But we won't. We won't. Yeah, put hands yeah. We won't put him. some hands on him. Yeah. So uh, Dre was like, "Well, Ghost is out the game, so his life is up for grabs." Yeah. He said, "Matter of fact, contract over." He said, "I'll set it up. I'll hand him over to you." He said, "But I got one condition. You got to make sure that the killing don't look like y'all did it." And don't make it like it look like I did it. So we all be protected. It was like, okay, we got okay, this. We got, okay, we got this. So then we see uh, freaking Julio goes in this dark. They forever going in these dark places by themselves. Well, they run the or underground organization. But still, man, I mean, street code is like always had somebody <laughs> with you, man. But you black, you know. Gotta always uh, have somebody with you because mm -hmm. you, you can't trust these freaking crazy people in these streets. <laughs> Especially going somewhere in the dark by yourself. Yeah. You you watch scary movies every time they go in the dark. They end up dead. Yeah. Like my mom said, they, all, they end up killed <laughs> it up. up. Killed it up. Stay away from the dark. So Julio comes through there. Dre, where you at? So he tried to text Dre. The heck on the locals. What? Toros locals. Locos, tocos, Taco Bell. You know what? <laughs> the old knuckles came in there. And it was three of them. It was three of them. And Who they was, said, so, so y'all gonna do this three on one. Yeah. He said, one, no, no, no. you fight me by yourself? Let's do it like this. And yeah. it was one main one Yeah. That really wanted Julio's hind parts. And I said, I really wanted to know more about their history because he seemed like a little bit more aggressive than the yeah, rest mm -hmm. of them were. And he was like, you know, Dre set me up. And they was like, yeah, we here to pretty much take you out. Because when you join our organization's blood in, blood out. So it's over for you. But I was impressed with Julio. Julio said, let's do it. Julio was handling the hell out of all, all three of them at one time. I was like, oh. He killed one. Yep. Had the other one. And they ended up one 
You know, they, they had to they had to take his power down a little bit, so they stabbed him. Yeah, slices slice his ankle. That's so what they walk. got him. Yeah, because he couldn't pretty much maneuver at that point. So dude ended up getting on his chest. Oh. Hey man, they, they cut his seven one eight off his neck. I said <laughs> like that. No. Man. I said we could have got laser tattoo laser removal surgery. We could have did all of that. Don't cut it, Nick. Don't cut it off. I was like last week, he was laying down the pipe, stroke game on point, beating up the puss. Now this week he getting his neck cut off right here. I'm like, God dog, Julio. And then I said, everything that Dre told y'all not to do. Exactly what Y'all just did that. You cut a freaking square out of this dude's neck and everybody know the 718 was there. Yep. Dre, you gonna die and I want you to die. Cause <laughs> always liked Dre. I had this crazy liking for Dre for some strange reason. Even though he's a snake in the freaking grass, Dre got to go. See, yeah, Dre... This, this might be the last straw for him now. Dre, see, I can take Tariq off now and put Dre right on that freaking burner. Yeah. Die. Back, you know, Tariq was here now. Dre. Dre. Yeah. Dre. Dre. He mm. moved on up. He, he been wanting to climb the pole, the ladder real quick, now but he, not yeah. this one. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> So yeah, I, I believe it's gonna leak back to him. It's definitely gonna it's leak got back. To. It's gonna leak back. Cause like, okay, all of a sudden Julio is dead, and when the course when they found him, and they look, know y'all beef. Yeah. Him. So when they find him in that dark room, how you get there? Yeah. And the guys are gonna still be there, the ones that's dead. Cause I'm pretty sure the dude that killed him, he gonna he ain't gonna. But you know that our time is dude, the bouncer, he was there when Dre was saying all this stuff. Yeah. So he already know that at some point. There was gonna be a meeting with Crystal Ball set up. Yeah. So, homeboy, if he is any kind of loyal, mm -hmm. will take that information back to Tommy, and yep. Tommy gonna figure it out quickly. Yep. Yep. So, then we see a scene. Ghost was going back to coming out of truth, going back to his truck, and there was an opportunity for Kanan to roll up on him. And he rolled up on him. He saw. He was like, "This nigga is, is still alive? alive. Didn't we brought him up? <laughs> That's it. Oh, look, he had this face. Before I forget. Now. Last week, we really didn't go into Julio, you know, talking about the Canaan thing. Because I said, did he know Canaan? And did he know Canaan was alive? But evidently... They didn't know. They didn't know that he had supposed to have been dead. Because he said that Tommy said... To kill him on to sight. To kill him on sight. So I was like, okay. So that cleared it up a little bit for me. But, okay. We can continue. Real camera? Real camera. So, Ghost is looking like... Ain't she supposed to be dead? And he was like... I'm back, motherfucker. <laughs> he said, get in this truck get and in let's this ride. Truck and let's ride. And we got your son. Yeah. So you got my son. See, I thought he was a sleepover. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He been I in my him. spot the whole time. Yep. And Ghost was like, you know what? I know me and you got some beef. My son ain't got nothing to do with this. Let him go and you can do whatever the fuck you want to do to me. I don't even care. He was like, drive. And get me some money. And That's get me wild. some money. And Ghost was like, do you know I just got out of jail like five minutes ago? I ain't got no, I ain't money. Got no money. This haircut took the last of my twenty dollars. <laughs> he said, he said, they ain't never stopped you before. That's true. Yeah. You always find a way to get some money. So now he had to resort to going back to being Ghost instead Ghost of again. James St. Patrick. Mm -hmm. I said Ghost can't get out of the game if he wanted to. He's trying his best to get out of the game, man. He's trying to be a new man. He's trying to trying to be saved. Trying to go back to church. <laughs> He might even want to become a deacon. <laughs> deacon. He do look like a deacon. He do like a deacon. One of them there gonna shady ones too, with uh -huh. the briefcase, with the code on it. Mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go down that rabbit hole I know, right Please there. don't. <laughs> <laughs> so they end up going over to uh, Tyrese's spot. He said, "I'm gonna need a gun." So Kanan gave him a gun. No bullets. He took the clip out. I knew he was gonna do that. He gonna mm -hmm. get on load a gun because he probably would have shot him. So they went in there pretty much and they stole the money. From his own people. From his own people. He told God, he said, I'm sorry, man. Just just give me the money. Yeah, just give me the money. And of course, you know, Kanan couldn't come out there without shooting somebody. Well, I would have had to shoot him too, because yeah, he was he, shoot Yeah, because he pulled the gun, yeah. But first of all, I wouldn't have been in that in that spot in there with no headphones in my ears and my back turned counting money. Hell 
Even though you got fellas down there supposed to be washing your back, anything will happen. That's right. I don't ever make, I don't ever try to put my situation where my I can't wash my back. Mm -hmm. I'm always, if I'm out somewhere, I'm always like, you know, I'm I don't make it look water. obvious, but I'm always look, aware of my surroundings. I'm gonna be like Terry Crews when he was out, out there on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> got my shank just in case uh -huh. something jump off. <laughs> he said, oh, who that nigga right there got a nice purr. <laughs> <laughs> so, micro mini pimp? He said, he said he looked magically delicious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's my movie. But anyway, wrong movie. Yeah, wrong wrong, yeah, we ain't talking about that. So, they get the money. So, we see a scene where they sitting in the truck. And he's like, you know, uh, Ghost like with my son. He was like, he with the baddest motherfucker in the game. He said, Tommy? Nah. No. She said, he said, nah. He said, this cat loves some pussy, but ain't got no, no heart. heart. He said, jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> I said, darn, so you know Jubal too. Said, dang, so she must be lethal, boy. Which we see that, you know, I can't even look at the same. That's Disney Princess. I can't I even know. I can't even look at her the same no more. She I don't like that, her in this part, though. Yeah, if she put that dress back on me, like, no, that's not the Disney Princess. That's Jukebox. <laughs> she gonna kill she run in the streets. She a killer. She hardcore. Yeah, she one of them bad bees. <laughs> we ain't messing with her. So, then we see them get out the truck. And um, Kanan hands him the gun. And I was like, what the hell are you and doing? And Ghost said, what are you doing? What are you doing? See, when they had that ride, Ghost told um, Kanan, he said, listen, Kanan, I know you pissed off at me because I put you behind bars. He said, but it was either put you behind bars or take or, your or life. Take you out. Yeah. And he said, I could never kill you. He said, I loved you like a brother. He was like, this is what brothers do to each other? He was like, dude, we was in a bad spot. He was like young and dumb. Yeah. And he was like, nah, dog. So you could tell that they have some love yeah, and some, some kind some of love-hate relationship. Yeah, love-hate relationship. And then at some point, Kanan started to come for me. I felt like Kanan started to warm up. Uh -huh. So the reasoning behind why he did what he did, and you could see Kanan looking at him like, you know what? When they got out of that car, he said, "I'm gonna give you this gun," and he said, "Ghost took the gun, just pointed right at him." He said, "I knew you were gonna do that." But before you go there, I think I think where that love hate relationship came at because um, we remember before they went into the spot, he said he told him to plan how to get in. He said, "I taught you well." I taught you well. So Kanan kind of. You know, bought not kind of, but bought him into the game. So it's like taught him everything he knows. Taught him everything he knows. So I guess that was the that where the love hate relationship came from. But continue. So um, he pointed a gun at him. He said, "Yeah, I knew you were gonna do that." He said, "Listen, <clears throat> you can take me out right here. I don't give a fuck. I ain't got no job. I ain't got no health care. I don't I have no got life insurance. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tired. They don't burnt me up. I got a little dick. It is what it is." So he said, "Um, or." You can save me. We can go in here together and we can we can figure out what this B gonna do. He said, because once you hand over that money, I don't know what, what she, she gonna, gonna do. do. She probably gonna take all of us out. And he said, I don't know if you gonna trust me like that, but your chances are better with me going in there with you mm -hmm. than you going in there by yourself. I don't know yourself. who she got in there. Yeah. So when they go in there, I'm sitting here like, okay. It's about to get real. What's happening? But she in there by herself. Got little um, Tariq all tied up. He nodding off from the lean. <laughs> she don't sung him a little Mahalia Jackson. Uh -huh. Put him to sleep. And all of a sudden, you can see Ghost like, oh my God, this kid is real. Yeah, my son is here. Yeah. And she was like, where the money at, my buckle? She takes the gun, puts it to Tariq's head, act like she gonna shoot him. Ghost got the gun on her, act like he gonna shoot she her. She was like, I bet you I can kill your son before you kill me. Uh -huh. So which one do you want? You want to see your son die or do you want your son to see you die? Either way, it's good with me because yep. the money is already here. They get the arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Next thing we know, she turned her sights over there on Kanan and she pissed Kanan off. Yeah. Because she said something about him messing up and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, she, made, she made him tell Tariq the truth yeah. about who he was. That and he who wasn't his slamming. father was. Yeah, so he started spilling the beans about that. Yeah. So all of a sudden, we look. <clears throat> Kana had had enough of this woman. And he ended up killing the Disney princess. Yeah. And then he turned around. Because by this time, Ghost had embraced his son. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Tariq's just being an a-hole as you normal. Or he's high. We'll just say he's high because <laughs> even after your daddy came in there and saved you, he kind of just looked like. Mm -hmm. But I but I said I thought maybe his head is still messed up because Kanan had him all twisted that his daddy won't 
get. So then we look. Canaan had the gun pointed right in hey. their direction. Yeah. And I said, oh, so we still going to do this like this, right? He looked at him, grabbed the money, put the gun down, and walked, walked out. out. And he said, I'll see you later, little nigga. It's like, huh? I said. But that go, so, but that, but that was go to show you that yeah, that love is still there. But so I gonna end up working for Canaan. Or if or they bring bring the family back together, we yeah, bring the band bring back it together. all back together to how they how it used to was or, or how it used to be or used to was. You want to lose a little bit of your body? Used to was. Used to was. So that yeah, that was yeah. basically it. It was a it was a whole lot going. That was like, a whole lot. Y'all ain't had to do but Julio we ain't like that. For Julio to die, man. Man, Julio was faithful. He was loyal. The yeah. Same thing. But uh, he had a good stroke game out of everybody in here. Uh huh. Him and Ghost. I mean, they held it down for us. We now we got Jack Rabbit timing. Yep. We don't want to see that bull skit. <laughs> Spitting and bull skit. I don't have time. With that said, straight for the VA. The dirty, dirty sound. Two up. Two down. Holla.